The Welcome. champ. Hi. How, How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Look who's here to greet us. What's his name again? Um, Dudes. Dudes? Yes. <laughs> That's a good That's name. That's the gym dog. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You are unbelievable. Ooh. Jay says you have to get Ashley back. Actually, he told me before the show, he told me she's competing at the uh -huh. Wasatch. Make sure you hit her up because she'll probably win that. And uh -huh. he was just like blown away by your success. And he's like, you got to ask her, how the hell is she getting, she, she's still so motivated. I can't fathom after all these show, after all these years. So he wanted me to ask you that. Sure. So you know something that I would say keeps me the most motivated? or most motivated would be I never really get used to the feeling of a win. I never want to get used to it. I like the excitement of a win. I don't feel like <laughs> I ever walk into a show being like, yeah, I'm going to win this for sure. Like it's always a surprise to me too. So I think that keeps it interesting and just like having that mindset of like, you know, I gave it my all um, and uh, it's out of my hands. Let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> I feel like it works in my favor because like I, I never want to go into a show like I said expecting to win because then you get into the habit of like when you do expect to win all the time yeah. then when you do win it's like well, well you know I expected to win but if you go in like uh -huh. I gave it my all um, let's see what happens and then you win it's like a surprise so that's <laughs> let, how I think of it <laughs> let me ask you something are, for someone as seasoned as you are are you are you ever nervous when you go on stage or is it like, is, you are? Okay, that's really interesting to me because I always figure that nervousness is for people that are just getting started and you know, and once you become a pro and you become a champion, you're not nervous anymore. But even Jay told me that he was nervous every time he stepped on stage. I okay. do, I do get nervous, especially on the big shows like Olympia and the Arnold. Yeah. I get extra nervous, but even at the smaller shows, yeah. I, I still get nervous too. I, I don't know, it, but I don't get too nervous to the point where I'm like, I, well, I try not to get too nervous to the point where I'm like... You don't like take up. over. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. I try to be like, you know what? It's uh, I try to like convert it into like energy, if that makes sense. Yes. On stage and just kind of like, I guess, try to... try to do your best. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So I actually, I, I have a theory about being nervous too. It's actually kind of like a good thing because yeah. it shows you care, right? If you didn't care, you'd be like, whatever, you know. You don't try as hard. Exactly. Yes. So it's okay to be a little bit nervous. It can yeah. be beneficial. As long as it doesn't take over. Yeah. You know, last time we filmed, I think you were just about to equal Dexter's record. Uh -huh. And you were like, oh my God, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. And, stuff. and now you're at 33 when you actually passed Dexter. And I know you're going to say bodybuilding isn't the same as, but to me, it is the same. It is the same in each division. You know, I, mm -hmm. that's unbelievable to have 33 pro wins. How do you feel about that today? That is so crazy because even saying it, I never thought that I would be able to do that. And it was never on my radar because when I first turned pro, like my goal was like, okay, I want to win one pro show and that would be the <laughs> pinnacle of the career and, you know, maybe that will be the last one I ever win. And turns out I did that 33 times over. So that was like, how did I do that? I don't know, but I'm really happy. It's, it's like, I can't believe it. It's crazy. I don't know. I'm just like, even for myself, I'm like, how did I do that? Talk to me about the last Olympia. The last Olympia, you did very well. You did top three. Yes. Um, that must have been great for you because for a while you weren't doing so well. You won a few and then you weren't doing so good. We talked about that before. And now you're right back in the winner's circle. How yeah. does that feel? It feels good. You know, I, I really try to set my um, expectations to be like realistic. So my goal for Olympia last year was to do better at the Olympia than I did the previous year. So it, it was kind of like I was on this downward trend for a few years to where each year at the Olympia I would place lower and lower, like went from fourth to fifth to sixth, then seventh. And then last year, finally re reversed that trend <laughs> and now I'm back at third. So I'm like, yes, I, I accomplished my goal. Can I ask you if you know what happened when you were actually on that downward? Do you know, were you able to pinpoint what happened, why you were going down? Have you thought about it or not you know, really? It's a combination of a lot of things, I think. Posing and just not being mentally prepared for it. Okay. I feel like that's been a big thing, like confidence. I mean, you know, I, I mentioned I like to be a realistic thinker, but sometimes I'm almost 
too realistic to the to where I get like, what are the chances I'm actually even going to you know beat this person or this person? So I get too in my head sometimes, mm. but I've kind of learned over the past like year or two, you know what? Just almost in a way, I know it sounds bad, but almost think it's not that serious. It's not that serious. Like chill out, Ashley. Get it together. Yes. You can do this. You know, it's just another show. So. Well, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, right? Yeah. Because you're still doing so great. I mean, I <laughs> I told Jay uh, when, he was, when we were talking about you, I said he was just like blown away by your stamina and just how, how great you're doing after all this time. He said, I don't know how she does it. And and I told him, I said, she doesn't, sign, she doesn't show any signs of slowing down. I don't know how much longer she wants to do this, oh. but she seems really happy right oh, now. Yeah. So. Each show I do, I swear, <laughs> I get more motivated. I get more, really? more motivated. Yes, I swear. Like, even at the beginning of the season, it's probably my least motivating show because I haven't, like, the ball hasn't started rolling yes. yet. But now it's like, oh, shows are picking up. Oh, I want to compete more and more. And now it's like, <laughs> now Coach has to hold me back from competing because I just want to compete in every show. But, you know, it's <laughs> like, it is motivating for me. And especially, like, when I take a look at, like, things I can work on and improve, sometimes it's like a little bit of an itch I need to scratch, right? So I'll see something in, with my physique or posing or even hair and makeup, all that stuff, and be like, oh, that bothers me. I know I won, but you know what? That little thing, I know I can fix mm. it. I want to improve it. I want to, I want to compete ASAP so I can improve and show. So, like, that's another thing that I've been, like, focusing on, too, is those little things I can fix because they definitely add up. Um, to be big things in the end. So. Yeah. Do you review your own footage of yourself on stage to actually nitpick yourself? Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Definitely. I yeah. even do that between pre judging and finals, too. Yeah. Um, but like a yeah. football coach. Yeah. yeah. I really, I spend a lot of time slow mowing every video, looking at every like photo that somebody tagged me in and different angles and what I can do better. And so I definitely, I definitely do that all the time. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're really taking this as a. Serious thing. I mean, yeah. I know you seem like lighthearted and everything, but you, this is all business for you. I mean, if you're doing all that, it's like, it's a lot of work. It is. You know, it is. You put it's a lot of work though. into it. Yeah. I'm so lucky, and I never forget. I never forget how lucky I am to be in the position to be able to compete and do what I love. Like, you know, it's amazing. So, although it is hard work, it is definitely worth it. Yeah. Is Adam around? He is. Let's go, let's go okay. talk to him for a second. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is a part of the office I've never seen. What's up, man? How are you? This is this is the coach. Oh, oh, and that's where the dog oh, comes from. The, the, <laughs> he's the boy. The uh, dudes. He's the, he's the team mascot. Adam, uh, what's Ashley, up, man? Ashley first, and then dudes. Is yeah. The team mascot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dudes. Is it yours? <laughs> that's Anya's, but he's like, okay. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah. he's, he's around me all day, four days a week. Yeah, so he comes to that office. That's yeah, great. He's got, little, he's got a little bed under here, and like. <laughs> this is nice. So this is where you guys do the podcast. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the podcast, the podcast stuff. Podcast. Awesome. We do all of our check-ins here, and um, yeah. Did you have this open last time I was here? I don't yeah. think. I, okay, time, I just didn't see it. Um, maybe last time you're here. This is where Sam and the other coaches were like working. We had like partitions. Up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We switched this to the podcast desk, and now it's like my my office with Aubrey. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice and big and open. Yeah, I like it. It's our idea box here. Come up with ideas. So listen, I wanted to talk to you since obviously she's doing so great and you're the man behind the champion. <laughs> How do you feel about this this 33rd win she just got? You must be so ecstatic. Yeah, this one, I, I definitely, this one was nerve-wracking for sure. Oh, why? It was nerve-wracking, yeah. Because, you know, well, there's never an easy win. Yeah. There's never an easy win. Um, this one was against, you know, India came back ah, and yeah. she looked, she really, looked good. really good. She looked really good. Yeah, and there's a lot of arguments, you know, there's a lot of arguments for both sides and just... Whenever someone comes back, you just don't know. Yeah. You know, they could come back and win the Olympia and be yeah. the next big thing. That was quite a comeback for her. Yeah, I mean, how, how many years was she off, Ashley? Do you know? 2018 was her wow. last show. Wow. Right? Okay. That's a long time. But then, didn't she? I thought, like, was it 18? They said 2018. I'm not sure. Seems longer. Because she had she, a baby she, and everything. She did the Olympia at one point in, like, 19, maybe? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it was 18 she did the Olympia. I don't know. Okay. I think they, they said the, the, the comments said 18. But okay, okay. But yeah, she looked great. She looked awesome. So it was like that one was a, a nerve wracking one, you know. But well, you want to yeah. win against good people, right? So <laughs> there's no great. such thing as an easy bikini yeah. pro show these days. So, but yeah. Ashley's Ashley's she's easy. She's not like hard to prep. She she just she sticks to her diet all year. She stays lean all year. She her body doesn't flatten out like crazy. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's 
and it's like we've done so many now it's just like oh have so you know it's just it's just so you predict it's predictable you know i mean how many shows have we probably done together like 40 I'm not sure Wow. I didn't count that part. I only count the numbers. Yeah, I mean, it has to be 40. <laughs> it has to, she lost count. It has to be 40. It has That's to be. a lot. Because when we started, you had 13 wins when we started. Did we? You did. Then when we started. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah, thir- that was 13. I think 13? you said 13. Wow. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. It was that. I think that's what you said. Yeah, because it's... What did you do? I started that? counting in the twenties. Don't, don't, don't quote me on it. Let's, let's, let's no. do the math. We'll do the math. I, I guess I'm, I sent you the list of how many shows I won, but I don't know how many was with you or not. Yeah, I had to write them all down. So you know, don't quote me on that. It was, it was a lot. We've done a lot of shows, though. I mean, it's we're talking since eighteen, so I mean, it's a lot of shows. Do you ever get off the diet, actually, or no? I mean, I I do a little like. I guess you said you're not a foodie last time. Relaxing periods during the year, I <laughs> wouldn't say like go off because that's. I mean, what's a relaxing period? Um, you know, I might have more snacks, more protein bars, stuff like that. But okay. my calories don't fluctuate like massively. A whole lot. Yeah. I just basically go into like maintenance rather than cutting. Oh, okay. You know? Okay. So I, you know, the goal is not to get too far off of. Uh, my stage look so that I don't have to do these drastic cuts yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know and I think that's the thing about bikini is it's kind of made to be more of a maintainable thing yeah. you can do throughout the year yeah. which is the advantage bikini competitors have we can stay closer to stage rather than bodybuilders <laughs> who would have a much tougher time doing that so. so you don't have to starve her right you don't have to no, you can you give her plenty of food till the end and she's well I mean and I'm, I'm, I'm not like, like a big crazy. eater right Right. I think right now, so this, like, we have a good plan for this Pittsburgh coming up. So she's right. three weeks out. This week, we like, her calories are a little higher. Her cardio is a little lower from mm-hmm. Wasatch. So she kind of reloads. Mm-hmm. She works on her weaker areas this week a little bit more. The shoulders and arms, she's, like, going heavy and hard with. Calories aren't, like, crazy higher, but they're higher. Okay. And then next week's a diet week. So it'll go, like, a hard week. So it's, like, a hard week. Yeah. And then, and then the next week is going to be, like, an early load, uh, probably Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, we'll do a check-in Monday, see it, we'll do a, a minor load, probably somewhere in the 200 carb range. Tuesday, we'll probably somewhere in the 120 carb range, and then we'll probably just ride the rest of the week at like maintenance carbs, which is like pretty low, like 100 a day type of thing, and then Friday. What's the lowest amount of carbs she, on a day, <laughs> on a low day, <laughs> when you give her a low day of carbs, what is it? None. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really, okay. I don't crave carbs that much. I prefer a low-carb diet, actually, but my calories, I think, is the main thing that doesn't get, I don't even think we go below like, even at the lowest, like thirteen hundred, even like a few days out would be like the lowest or something. Right? Okay. Yeah. The something um, like that. So like this Usually week, it's around fifteen or sixteen hundred. Okay. On this, average. This week hers is uh, it's right 16 here. Six, 1607, 160 proteins, one hundred fifty carbs, forty grams of fat. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And then next week it'll be like twenty percent below that, I imagine. And then okay. Maybe diet a week. So like. You take like probably a hundred of those carbs away next week, so that's like four hundred calories. So twelve hundred calories next week, and then the next week after that is peak week, and it'll be, it'll average out to probably the same. Okay. Yeah, but there'll be a couple of days that are lower probably with yeah. the lower carb days, yeah. but the other couple of days will be higher. So why do you like uh, why do you like the low carb days? I mean, I don't necessarily like low carb days, but I can function perfectly fine without. A lot of carbs. Like some yeah. people get brain fog or they just feel like crap. Yeah. I don't notice the difference really. I think I do good with low carb. Okay. Um, but you know, I don't I don't do these huge carb carb ups. Like some yeah, people yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. We're a little bit more conservative usually with that. Yeah. So I just feel like with carbs it's like a little bit of a risky game to play. Yeah. You get close to a show and you yeah. spill. So Well yeah. if you're ready a, a, a long time ahead also you don't have to make that many drastic changes because she's always ready so yeah. it's very minimal changes right then you still see a big difference mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so that's the advantage of always being in shape yes yeah mm-hmm. wow true that's awesome I'm doing, I'm doing the math in my head it wasn't 13 <laughs> you don't have to be exact. 17 17, <laughs> 17. So you had 17 oh before shows before 2018. oh oh that's, I thought we're talking I thought we were talking about food no no I was like wait a minute because I, no, I remember I might be off by one or two but yeah <laughs> and that three wins so far this year yeah so. counted that and then wow. the six and then the four and then the three yeah that's how it was the last four years so yeah this year's off to a great start <laughs> how many shows are you going to do this year do you know oh wow Let's see. I mean, <laughs> as many shows there is. <laughs> I mean, there are some 
some shows that I'm going to wait to sign the contract for just to see like how, because I have to, you know, be a little strategic sometimes yeah. with like, okay, if I do this show, am I going to look good enough for the show the following? Right. Like, that is one thing you got to be careful of. Is yes. That, you know, doing show to show to show to show. Yes. You're not going to get the same amount of workouts just from even the traveling that's alone right. and just being away at the show. So that's something we have to keep in mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so strategy goes into it, but I do plan on competing a lot this year too. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really decided on a number amount. There are some contracts I already signed, though. I know I'm doing Pittsburgh. I know I'm doing a mile high. And I definitely want to do the Vegas shows here because, I mean, why Yeah, you're here. here. So, um, yeah, there's going to be some. And we've got to do one international show at least. Yeah, we haven't been. Maybe you know what? Mexico. That's the, only, that's the only hard part. Me and, me and Ashley. So we used to live in. She lived in uh, L.A. and I lived in Denver. So she'd, like, live at the house for, like, two weeks at a time. I'd live at her house for, like, a week, two weeks at a time. And it was always fun, and then we'd go to like an international show once a year, so we would have that like week to hang out and do that stuff. But we haven't done it because of COVID stuff. Mm. And so now I'm like, we gotta go somewhere. We haven't done anything. Now we live here, so we don't live. We're not like at each other's houses and stuff. I'm like, we gotta go somewhere and do something, have some fun. You did last <laughs> year, though, didn't you? Go somewhere last year? I did. I went to Europe. I That's right. Like, yeah. Um, I went to Romania and I went to Spain. Right. Yeah. Did you go? I didn't go to that one. That oh. was like a, it was a really that was a really hard trip. That okay. Was like, Three, how, over three weeks gone. Three weeks gone. And then there was like, she was, how many times did you travel? Because she's all these different gyms for oh, posing yeah. classes like almost every day, right? At a certain point. Oh, yeah. I made lots of flights. <laughs> are yeah, you are you tough. okay? Uh, is it hard to do a show without him being there? Like when you went to Europe and he wasn't there, was it tougher to uh, prep? It, it's, I prefer him to be there. Yeah. <laughs> But I will say, if I have somebody there, it's better than... And nothing yeah. um obviously i'd rather have him there more than anyone else but like just for peace of mind right yeah it is hard going to shows like alone alone um because even things like tying my suit and stuff like yeah <laughs> you know, little things like that and to make sure that like um everything's like on track as far as like i'm at the right place at the yeah. right time and yeah someone to be there just to yeah, sure, yeah 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 you know yeah. i'm good to go Yeah. yeah, well, luckily we have here too. We have Sam here too, which is um, Aubrey, Sam's daughter. So she's like intern here. She'll be the next future star eventually. Oh, right nice. Yeah, she's getting started young. And then so they work out, you know, four times a week, three times a week, four times a week. What? Four times a week together. So, which is nice. So she can go there too and be like a second eye too. But, but the thing is, the way that we do peak weeks, at least with Ashley, is that the day after she has her carb loads, the two days after, she's a little softer. And like we know that she's going to be a little softer the next two days. So, Even if she's super flat, which she rarely gets super flat, but even if she's flat and we load her with carbs, she doesn't, generally doesn't look better the next day. She looks fuller the next day for sure, but usually a tiny bit softer and they like her tight. So yeah. the cool thing is we don't have to worry about Thursday, Friday loads because if we did a Thursday, Friday heavy load, we know already she's going to be holding water, mm-hmm. looking a little softer. We don't want her softer on Saturday. So she has an early load and then she doesn't flatten out that easily. Like, you, it's pretty hard for you to, like, really flatten out. Mm-hmm. Like, she doesn't, like, get... And even when she's a little flat, she still looks round. Mm. So it's not... Like, you have a lot of room to play with there. But you have you have a lot of room to play with on the fullness with Ashley, but you have no room to play with in the conditioning. The judges yeah. do not yeah. accept anything. <laughs> she yeah. set that it's, standard for herself, and, yeah. The yeah. good thing about Ashley is that she competes a lot, so the judges get to see her a lot. Yeah. The bad thing about Ashley is she competes a lot, so the judges get to see her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they know. You know, when yeah. you see someone a lot or more often, they can like, tell. you're like, oh, I saw you two weeks ago, and you were sharper than that. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're better than everyone else. You're still personally a little bit off. Yeah. So sometimes it's like it gets in their head and they're yep. like, oh no, you're softer this time. It doesn't matter if like on any other circumstance you'd beat that girl, but you, they know you're not your best. It kind of plays into You're the always competing parts. against yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, not her personal best. And yeah. it's like, you know, so it's, it's definitely creates its own standard of conditioning that she needs. To Dexter had the same issue. Oh yeah. because he's the blade. Yeah, that's he's right. Like, he's you know, off a little bit. Then, and then that's it. Even though he's shredded. Yeah. Yeah. That's... He could be the best guy, but he's still, that's it. he's off. You that's know? right. So, so yeah, she, she, that, that is the, uh, that is that, but, Yeah, you don't, you don't get any, you don't have any room. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I've accepted the fact that even, I do think I, I look better sharper, though, and, and, yeah. and leaner. I know, especially in bikini, there is a, a variation of, like, girls, you'll see some of them will be softer, some of them will be leaner, some of them will be curvier, some will be more muscular. Um, but, you know, I think, like, for me, if I'm being honest with myself, I, I know I look better leaner anyway. So I'm not really a girl that looks better softer. Uh, in my opinion, so you know, I've accepted it and I like it. I like being athletic and yeah. I love feeling lean. I think you know, yeah, I wear I get, it nicely. <laughs> I get a lot of comments about her being like 
the obviously I'm gonna get a lot of comments. Oh, she's my favorite. I mean, that's just how it's gonna be, mm -hmm. you know, when you're when you're when you're with her. But um, I get a lot of comments that are different than other girls do. They say I like her look because she's the athletic bikini girl at the top, and um, that's the look I think. Like bikini should be like that athletic mm -hmm. type of type of look where it's not like just curves and softness that yeah. you can't. And I think the thing is too, be, being the athletic bikini girl, I think a lot of girls can kind of aspire to be like that more so than, than being, I want to be the curvy girl because you're either born with curvy or not. You, know? you either have it or you don't, but you can work at being athletic. Yeah, yes. and so it's like an obtainable goal. You yes. Know what I mean? Like, yes. you know, I can't, I'm not, I can't say I want to be as big as Jay Cutler. And like, right. I'm not good luck. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not born that way. Yeah. So like, but most people can get an athletic physique if they just yeah. work hard for years. They can't get, you know, those wide set hips and you know the tiny waistline that type of thing that's yeah, cool. yeah that's so awesome cool. yeah tell me a little bit about about the facility you're still doing great you're still doing those those posing seminars i just saw on instagram yeah, we have a big one on saturday right we'll have probably 40 people here we have angel competition bikinis is like sponsoring this one that's awesome so they're coming down um you know we have it's kind of crazy because when i grew up in bodybuilding we, there was never any posing seminars no and you know if i you got have to, to find a good coach somewhere somehow yeah. yeah you know i would you know you might be able to book a session or whatever but it'd be hard to get access to guys yeah you know that were like top level guys to teach yeah. you and like with ashley she's you know 12 times a year is a free posing class here and you get a pose with one of the best that's and a great service it's great i i think about it as a competitor having access to something like that would be would blow my mind i would i would fly in you know i know these days people are like a little more spoiled and they're like they don't even like i'm like how are you not here you i know, know? So it's crazy to me i'm like but um it's true it's really nice and ashley does it and she just does it out of the kindness of her heart she doesn't well you know that's good karma for her she's like, yeah, i mean these classes are free you know she got she come i mean i think they should be you know 150 bucks you know they're people they're, would pay yeah, so it pay. It's, it's great, but she likes it. She gives back to the community. Everyone wow. loves it because of it. Well, it's give the address of the place if people want to come. Yeah. They can come. So it's at 1176 Vegas Valley Drive Contest Prep Center in um, Las Vegas. Great. And uh, yeah, we usually have the classes once a month um, from 10 to 1130. And then we will kind of do something after. We'll just say, you know, we'll have a discount for either Fit Club or Dragon's Lair or sometimes here. Um, where we'll all kind of go as a group to there for like 10 bucks they give us, which is kind of cool. To awesome. Yeah, it's been, yeah. This time we're going to Fit Club. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of nice and then get to meet the community and come out to Vegas and whatnot. You get a good thing to... going here, man. I love it, man. It's great. <laughs> it's, we're very lucky. You know, we're yeah. very, very lucky with how we have this and Ashley's a huge part of it, you know, yeah, a huge part of, of the recognition of it and all that. So she'll always be a part of this and, and yeah, uh, hopefully awesome. we're always giving back to the community and stuff too. So, Well, guys, yeah. thank you so much for having JTV in your great center. Uh, and uh, congratulations, Ashley. We're so proud of you. And uh, God, I hope we get to see you again on JTV before the Olympia and see how many how many more pro wins you have. <laughs> Let's get scoop some more up. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, you guys.